Blender 2.8 is a major upgrade, which is great, but change can be difficult, especially when you're a seasoned pro. You're already used to doing things a certain way and pushing buttons without even really consciously thinking of the button that you're pushing. It just happens automatically. So when change comes along, it can really throw a spanner in the works. These videos are here to help. We spent a lot of time beating our heads against the wall trying to figure out Blender 2.8, solving issues, reporting bugs, and finding current limitations. These videos are here to help you stop running into the same teething issues that we've had. What type of things are we talking about? Simple, quick explanations of the similarities and differences. We don't want you sitting through a 40 minute in-depth explanation just so you can find that one setting that's moved to a different location. So of course we want to go over these few major changes. Where did that button go? What is it called now? How do I do that thing that I used to do? Also, we want to talk about why is Blender doing that? That's the things that have you scratching your head. What's wrong with my file? Some weird things can happen when you open up older files. We also want to talk about known bugs and limitations so you don't go crazy. Just the big obvious ones, as well as explain any temporary workarounds until these issues and features are added. Who are these videos for? Well, they're for everybody. We're trying to get you up and running with Blender 2.8 as fast as possible. If you're already familiar with Blender, you're probably going to benefit more from these videos. But even if you're new, you're going to learn some stuff. Now, some of the tips you might feel, hey, that was pretty obvious, already knew that. But while you already knew that, it could have been the one tip that has saved someone else many hours of scratching their head. Eventually, we hope all these things become obvious. But in the meantime, we're here to help. So what these videos are not, they are not going to be in-depth explanations. All the foundational stuff and in-depth explanations are coming if they're not already on the site. That's where you get the full rundown on everything, as well as a project-based learning where you'll see these things in action. And this is not a bug report system. We just want to get the major things out there as quickly as possible so you can hit the ground running. How can you help? Why not jump onto the forum and share your knowledge? If you've hit your head against the wall for hours or days, why not help stop someone else from doing this by sharing your knowledge? Let us know and spread the word.